Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and the Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless recap for Monday, November 27, 2023, has a shocking revelation in which Claire refers to Victoria as her mother. Victoria Newman receives the biggest surprise of her life. Highlights from the Young and the Restless recap. In this episode, Nikki had a dream about Eve, and Victor, Nick, and Victoria discovered Cole was present. They also discovered that Jordan made up the entire tale of Nikki's seizure. Adam and Sally kissed each other again. Finally, Audra did not believe Nate was not guilty of betraying Victor. Let us now delve deeper into what occurred. Reunion of Families Nikki sobbed at the lake house. She discovered a snapshot of Eve Howard behind her pillow. She dozed out perplexed. Cole called Victoria and left a message for her downstairs. When he hung up, Aunt Jordan whacked him over the head with a hammer. Jordan entered Nikki's room. Nikki awoke drowsy, and she noticed a blurry Jordan. Nikki was perplexed as to what Jordan desired, but Jordan urged her to unwind. Jordan's remark of her family's impending arrival perplexed Nikki. Nikki yelled that Jordan had done this to her, but Jordan replied that Nikki had done it to herself. Claire, Victor, Victoria, and Nick arrived downstairs. Claire summoned Jordan, but there was no response. The Newmans were displeased but decided to wait. Claire went to get them some bottled water and assured them that Nikki would be oak. Victoria was wary of the way she was behaving. Jordan came down the stairs wearing a sling on her phony broken arm and informed the family that Nikki had remained in the hospital overnight. Victor inquired about the hospital's name, but Jordan informed him that visiting hours had ended. Jordan offered to hire a car, because Victor didn't care. Jordan detailed the seizure to Nick, Victoria, and Victor as they drank their water. Jordan recommended they all sit down and unwind. There would be no car. They're not going anywhere. Nick was perplexed as to what she was on about. Jordan took off her sling and declared that it was time to reveal the truth. Jordan advised them to pay attention, and she indicated that Victor knew her sister well. Jordan said, Eve Howard, Eve loved him, and he deceived her, shattered her heart, and threw her away. Jordan claimed her sister died while they were estranged, which she blamed on Victor. She also indicated that they will all perish as a result of the poison in their water. They attempted to flee, but she had triple locked every door. Claire hauled Cole out of the house by the arm. Victoria was taken aback when she saw him. Claire stated that she had to attend the family reunion. Didn't he, mother? Victoria's and Cole's eyes widened in surprise at the inference. Nikki had a dream that Eve had lied to her about Victor's death. Nikki sprang awake, shocked. There is a possibility. Adam inquired at the GCHC whether Nate had seen his father or sister. Nate hadn't noticed them. Nate left after some caustic back and forth. Then Sally arrived. She inquired about his family, and Adam asserted that his relationship with his father had never been stronger. They ordered Martinez from the bar. Adam mentioned that she had avoided him since they had sex. He understood when Sally said she needed time to process. They talked, and she expressed her displeasure that he had plotted to ruin Victor. However, Adam pointed out that the old him would not have confessed. Adam confessed that Victor had made everything up and that Nate was the one who had betrayed him. Sally asked Adam whether he was okay with it all, and Adam responded it's what his father does. They discussed where they stood, and Sally wasn't sure. Adam hoped they had a shot, so he asked for a proper dinner date. Sally agreed, and they sat down to discuss their lives. When Adam acknowledged how having children had changed him, he apologized and Sally agreed. She realized she wasn't hungry and decided to go. Sally kissed him goodnight, surprised Adam, and herself. Ruthless. Audra and Nate went to Crimson Lights for coffee. Audra was perplexed as he recounted Victor's arrangement. He revealed that Victor was attempting to depose a traitor. They all agreed it was a mess. Nate stated that he sincerely cared about Victor's well-being, but Audra wasn't convinced. 
She suspected his true intention was to open a route for him and Victoria to take over, while Victor was in treatment. Nate emphasized that Victor needed assistance and that they keep it quiet. Neither believed it was incorrect. Nate was ultimately set up to fail. He wasn't sure what to make of Victoria, though the rest of the group was to blame. Audra inquired if he wanted to retaliate against them. She is planning something and will consider enlisting his help. Nate claimed he wasn't as ruthless as she suspected, but Audra disagreed. The Young and the Restless Spoilers for Tuesday, November 28, 2023. See Victor doing what he does best, defending his family against all foes, foreign and domestic, and completely insane. Victor has come to the aid of his Y and R family. Highlights from Young and the Restless Spoilers because Claire lied and told them Nikki had fainted and was in the hospital. Victor, Victoria, and Nicholas all flew to the middle of nowhere during the Thanksgiving break. When they arrived, it was all, psych, Nikki is not hospitalized. Oh, what, I poisoned your water, so you're going to die shortly. Mr. Newman, how do you like your apples? Never give up. That, thank you very much, does not sit well with Victor. And if Jordan believed the patriarch, who had already endured life in an institution. Has he ever mentioned it to you? He speaks about it so rarely? Was going to go down without a struggle. She's in for a surprise. Jordan has a detailed plan for what Victor, Victoria, and Nick must do to save their own lives, not to mention Nikki's. But Victor is having none of it. He'll now bluster and rage at Jordan, explaining why she'll never, ever, ever beat the mighty Victor Newman. Oh and his family as well. Torpedoes be damned. Victor will never give in to her demands, will never do what she wants, and will never ever accept fault. If Nikki, Victoria, and Nick have to die to prove Victor's point, he and they should be willing to make the cost. Through sheer resolve and total magnificence, Victor will beat the poison running through his system. Jordan and Claire will regret the day they thought they could beat him. Do you understand? Highlights from the Young and the Restless Jordan warns Victor Newman that his family is running out of time. Jordan stops Nick Newman in his tracks as he races upstairs to save a screaming Nicky Newman. Jordan actually stabs Nick in the stomach, causing a major wound. Jordan's Contaminated Water The teaser footage for the week of November 27 on We and R sees Jordan playing mind games with her newest hostages, according to Eli and R. Spoilers. While Nikki remains locked upstairs, Jordan informs the remaining guests that there isn't much time left. Jordan claimed to have poisoned the water she gave her hostages. Of course, everyone is curious as to why Jordan is acting this way. It's one thing to be kidnapped and tortured. It's quite another to understand why you're being abused. It's a different feeling when you don't know why. That is what Victor and Nikki are experiencing. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.